morning everybody this is Q Strike representing both boons and conditions.com as well as teamlegacy.net this again is necromancer point of view structured pvp commentary uh, just going through everything tips tricks as well as insight as to why I make the decisions that I make in case you were thinking of trying out necromancer for next beta weekend or maybe you tried them out and you just didn't feel you were as powerful as you should have been uh, definitely this is some pretty high quality gameplay I saw that engineer over there, but you know what? We only own one point out of three, so I need to make sure I'm taking these points. I go ahead and pop my uh, ultimate ability on this Mesmer because I am in vent with somebody else on the red team, and he said that there were guys following me up. So I'm going to go ahead and global this Mesmer really quick and then turn my focus to this elemental elementalist. Whoa! Not sure what happened with that, I apologize, but I turned my focus to the Selimentalist. Uh Just doing so much damage, just using my one ability. I mean, every, anybody that saw that Necromancer uh, Ultimate, uh, the Lich form, that's going to get nerfed. Your one has to be doing too much damage there. I mean, there were times in this beta weekend where I legitimately 1v3 the enemy team just because that one does so much damage and only using one. So we managed to get Clock Tower. To break these windows, you need some kind of static AoE. I saw a lot of people doing direct damage, uh, trying to break them, but now you need AoE damage. So I pop my movement speed, which does exactly that. Uh, basically, you can hop off that ledge from Clock Tower onto the roof of one of those buildings, and then you're immediately next to the windmill. Unfortunately, I missed that jump. So I do take the long way around. Uh, we get up here and we see this engineer like, oh, don't worry, blue team, I'll hold this point. <laughs> and he gets blown up. Like, guys, come on, man. Like, if you're going to hold a point, like, it's a legitimate strategy and definitely could work in the future. But, like, not if you're just, like, against the wall. Like, you don't see me. You don't see me. Like, yeah, we see you, man. Like, of course we see Come on, bro. Come on. So we, we finish him off real quick. Uh, I think, yeah, I go through here and I'm going to switch my uh, dodge key from tab to S key superstar. Uh, basically, if you backpedal, if you hard turn left or right, like, you need to get rid of those keys. I mean, I'm in a, a pretty good guild for Guild Wars as of right now, Team Legacy, and I heard a bunch of people in their guild chat it was like, oh, yeah, no, you got to keep your S key bound in case you got to dodge back. And it's like, no, you don't, man. You just need to turn your camera a little bit and dodge, you know, strafe. I can't believe that people are trying to justify that. That is never okay. So if you want to be good in these kind of games, make sure you're practicing. Uh, unbind your hard turn left, hard turn right, and your back pedal. Learn how to strafe camera turn. We get up to the clock tower. I see this mesmer. We got him real low, but then he started kiting out hard. Uh, you know, I saw what direction he went, but I wasn't going to chase him when we don't own all the points. Uh, basically points before kills in these games is definitely how you're gonna win so immediately I get back up here I'm making sure we're capturing this point uh, from that point we're gonna be heading over to the windmill but this is amazing I've seen this you know a few times and still can't believe that I turn this corner pop my movement speed boom get hit in the face with a trebuchet round I mean I could not have planned that any better myself uh, mad props to whoever pulled that off if you're watching this my hats off to you see but uh so i go down i'm gonna get back up in a rage a fit of furious crazy rage i'm gonna head over to that trebuchet and i'm gonna make sure that dude knows that i can't believe he just killed me like that so we'll wait for the respawn it's got a counter that's a cool little thing the death breakdown tells you like oh, what you got beat up with what you need to try to avoid so uh you know you can definitely see patterns a lot of people are like oh death breakdown who cares you know it's not like you buy items like league of legends to, to counteract the damage you're taking but you can see trends like if you're constantly dying to one warrior and you look at your death breakdown it's always he charged me then he stunned me and then he hit me with that that hundred blades attack like the flurry attack with the great sword then you know that if you see a warrior charging you and you dodge real quick he's probably gonna screw up his entire like ability sequence and then uh... and then you'll survive so that's pretty cool you need to you need to start learning patterns that people are using uh... when they go into fight because a lot of people have them 
and that's definitely one good way to figure it out. So we go through here, uh, that ranger saw us coming, obviously, so she got off the trebuchet, kited out as soon as we got up there. We turn around, destroy the trebuchet, because I don't want to get hit in the face anymore, man. Like, that, that really hurt. So uh, we get over here, start doing the damage to this thief. Uh, you don't get any points in the trebuchet like you do for killing the NPCs on the other map. It's still a good idea to get rid of it because as you saw there, trebuchet can one-shot somebody and it's just a lot of damage. Uh, basically, I get jumped on by this elementalist and this mesmer, so I rolled backwards thinking that the fight was going to stay there, but the fight moved forward, so now I'm way too far away to do any kind of reasonable damage. Uh, that's one thing you do need to be aware in games like this, that when you're getting focused, you need to kite around in a way that's still going to allow you to continue to fight. I screwed up there, but we managed to get back in here on this uh, engineer who goes down. As you can saw, when I brought her down, I kept moving forward just to make sure nobody was behind her attacking me. Um, unfortunately, when I do come back up, they weren't behind me, they were in front of me and I didn't see them. So as I go to finish that engineer, I get jumped by this mesmer, I pop into my death shroud, immediately hit my four. All the mesmer clones just feed me that life force. It's, it's beautiful to do that and I do got to give props to ArenaNet for that. I found a lot of times in this beta weekend that I was as a necromancer a direct counter to mesmers but then I found a few times where uh, mesmers were a direct counter to me just completely dominating force and it was just great to see that that kind of you don't see that in other games like in World of Warcraft like on my unholy DK I don't care if you were a rank 1 12 time gladiator warlock like you were gonna die to my unholy DK is is just how it worked in the game uh, it's definitely refreshing to see in this game that you know a mesmer that I can dominate mesmers left and right and turn around and get dominated by mesmers like it's great to see that so there's a huge huge battle going down at the mansion I'm trying to head over there but I think just curiosity got me sidetracked you know I start uh, damaging this mesmer uh, doing what I can do. I'm decently low, so I'm going to pop my death shroud eventually. I should. I th I, yeah, there it goes. I was just making sure I wasn't doing bad plays. So I pop my death shroud again, just feeding that life force off all the mesmer clones. Uh, doing what I can do on this elementalist. I get the fear off. You know, I'm just turreting. She goes for the finish, and I go to try to daze her out of it. Basically, the four on your warhorn. If you land, it stops all channels. But I don't know if you saw there. I left my death shroud early, and my four on my warhorn was still on cooldown, so I couldn't stop her channel and save my buddy. Um, we do end up winning, so that's going to be that. And then it's just kind of kiting around me trying to stay alive. I got top stat MVP for the team. No big deal. But definitely be checking out boonsandconditions.com. That's GW2BNC.com uh, for, you know, some more amazing uh, beta weekend footage. I'm Q-Strike. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that like, favorite, subscribe button. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Take care.